All right, Dan, thanks. Well, it was an exciting announcement for downtown residents more than six months ago. What was promised? Two businesses moving in, but they're still not there. Two News reporter Liz Bryant joins us now live to tell us what happened. Liz? Yeah, Russ, inside those doors is supposed to be Archer Market, set to open in February. And then down the street, Cam's Groceries, also not open. Both business owners have different stories for their delays, and it's left residents wondering if they'll ever get a grocery store down here. It takes John Cock just three minutes to walk from work to home. I love living here because everything is within walking distance. My car rarely gets attention. And soon Cox says his car won't be needed at all. For now, you don't have to go that far. You know, you just have to walk around the corner. That's because in this one building, his home, work, and grocery store could soon be all together. Had huge trenches in it just a week ago. The shell of this store is Archer Market, where the imagination can run wild. Fill your bowl up. Top it off with some milk. Come over here to the fruit and salad bar. Until recently, all the work was on hold because the permits hadn't been approved. For some reason, these things just take longer than anyone ever expects them to. The holdup with Cam's Grocery is we're still trying to get all the capital together. Less than a mile away is a banner and a few broken windows. Come on in. Owner the, Daniel Cameron is still hoping money will come in. Produce will be against that wall. We'll have Cameron says he announced Cam's opening to draw attention and to get investors. Some of them are committed, and they're holding the money until everybody else is committed. Both have big dreams of big stores with fresh and local food, where there currently aren't any options. This will be the Made in Oklahoma, Made in Tulsa section. And Archer Market here is expected to open 4th of July weekend. The date on CAMS is still not set. Dan says once all the money is in the bank, it will take three months. Live in downtown Tulsa, Liz Bryant, 2 News, works for you.